here's the, the sorting machine. Here's the camera. And right now it has the lens cap on. It doesn't sort anything with the lens cap on, so take it off before you want to use it. Um, here's the feeder. And this is the feeder controller. The switch turns the power on to the feeder. This knob here adjusts the, the feeder uh, frequency, so higher numbers feed more, turn it counterclockwise to feed less. We've got three lights here, and the computer, when the computer boots up, this little um, program will automatically start, and this is our user interface for the machine. Once you come around. On the camera, there's a FireWire cable that plugs into it that needs to be plugged, that might get unplugged over time uh, when it's being stored. All the controls are back here. Back here. This red switch right here turns the power to the lights on and off. It's usually a good idea when you're sorting to just keep the lights on. These are LED lights and they'll, they're, they're good for uh, thousands of hours. Uh, and they do take about a half an hour for everything to get warmed up and at a steady state. So the, the lights need to be on at least a half an hour before you try to, try to do much of anything. These are the power supplies for the lights and the air valve here and they're just plugged into this power strip here. Um, there is a cable right here that plugs in the parallel port of the computer, and it goes up to this block box here, and that's what um, uh, triggers the air valves when we want to reject the kernels. And then that firewire cable right plugs in here, this goes into the camera right here. And other than that, we've got a monitor cable and the power cable for the computer, so nothing all that special. Um, the feeder here, if you ever want to take the feeder off, you lift it up and then take this block out, and then you can take it out, and there's a disconnect on that wire back there for it. When you put it back in, you have to put it, put the bottom of the funnel inside the feeder there, and then put it back on the block lined up here. And then this little plastic strip here needs to go over the chute. And it wants, sometimes it wants to wander off and it's tempting to try to tape it down, but don't do that because um, if there is some larger object up here that gets in into the wheat that you're sorting, it could come down here and get stuck and then all your wheat's going to spill out. That's an overview of the sorter. If um, material is coming out too fast on the feeder and slowing this knob down doesn't, doesn't work, you can replace this plate right here. With this one here, it's a little bit smaller opening. There. Okay, so now we're ready to start using the sorter. But before the, it can really do much of anything, the sorter needs to be calibrated for whatever you want to sort. So we're going to go through that procedure here with a little bit of red wheat and a little bit of white wheat. So when you get to the, uh, when the computer boots up, there will be this little program here, and that's what we'll use to um, calibrate the machine. So to do that, we need to save data and images from 200 red wheat kernels and 200 white wheat kernels, or whatever it is that you want to be able to sort. The so first thing we're going to do is save data for the red wheat kernels, and we're going to call that dark kernels here. It says save, so we're going to click this button right here. It says save data dark. Now, it doesn't have to be dark. That's just a name. It could be purple and red. Uh, kernels, if, if, if you will. Uh, so there's two options here, save data dark and save data light. Those are just names. 
call what we want to sort two different things. And then to click that, one of those buttons, and then click start. Now this window here will come up, and then it'll flash a blank image of the, uh, of, of the area where the kernels are imaged. Don't do anything until you see this uh, uh, screen right here. Now we're going to turn the uh, feeder on, and we're going to just kind of slowly drop kernels through. One. And you'll see current images of kernels flashing through here. And you want, you want to make sure for this part that kernels are dropping down one by one. When we get to sorting, they'll be going a lot faster. But, uh, computers saving the images and saving data. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I see seeds that shouldn't be in there. So I'll try to pick those out. It's not a big deal if one or two pieces of foreign material get through here. And so images of every kernel is flashing through here. Once 200 images are saved, it'll stop flashing images and then we know we're done. flashing images so we know we're done we stop feeding kernels and then we hit the stop button here okay so we got data saved from the red wheat now we need to do the same thing for the white wheat so we'll switch this button to save data light because that's what we're going to call the white wheat and then start again Wait till all these screens uh, disappear, and then once you got this one, we're ready to go. Now drop our white wheat kernels through, just like we did on the red wheat. Now that's done, we'll hit the stop button. So now we have the data saved for the red wheat and the white wheat. The machine is not calibrated yet. And to do that, we hit this calibrate button. And now it's going to go through all of that data and with some just statistical procedures and um, create a calibration file that the machine will use for sorting. So now it did that and it says that the error rate is 5.2%. Uh, Here it says it selected features 2, 3, and 4. That could be could have been other things for different uh, applications, but that means it's the average of the red, green, and blue pixels. We'll close that. Now if you want to, um, now the machine's ready to sort. But if you want to, you can save this setup file as something. So I'm going to save this. I hit the save setup file. I'm going to say it's red. 
plus y. So we can come back to that after a while. If I wanted later on, if I wanted to load that file in this load set of file, and then it would uh, come back to it. Um, so now we're ready to sort. So I'm gonna, on the mode uh, box here, I'm going to hit sort. And I want it to reject the dark kernels, which is the red kernels. So what we'll do here, we'll take a little bit of this white wheat here, and we'll add a little bit of red to it, mix it up, a little bit of white with some red in it, turn the feeder off, dump it in there, put my bucket down here, catch the grain, back on, I'll hit start, and it'll sort with the reject threshold of 50. Go from 0 to 100. White kernels are getting blown out there. Uh, the red kernels are getting blown out that way. The white kernels are going in there. And if you just have a little bit of wheat in there, you need to jiggle that thing at the very end to let the last little bit come. Mostly red, most of those red kernels are right in here. Most of the white kernels are right in here. You see a couple of the red in here. There's a couple of, of whites in here. 